Continuing on thermogenesis in the thermic effect of food, I want to go through the fact that we know protein is king of the hill. When people talk about thermogenesis or the thermic effect of food, they automatically know that protein takes longer to digest than any other food, it's more complex, and because it takes that length of time, it's, it's just going to require more calories. So the thermic effect of protein is averaged at about 30%. That means when you consume protein, all of the calories or the grams of protein contained in that meal, it's going to take about 30% of those calories just to digest it. So that means about 30% of the protein that you consume never even reaches your body's need on a calorie level. So it's almost like getting a 30% off coupon. But your body still has to need that food. It's not like it's free. You still have to need it, and there's all kinds of timing specificity issues. When it comes to carbohydrates, this is where there's a lot of misinformation. People assume that protein is up here and carbs are down here. Carbs have very little effect. Carbs actually have a wide range. A simple carb might have, have a short range, short, short life span inside your digestive tract complex way up here, but there are also times that you need a faster acting carb to really boost thermogenic activity, specifically for a workout or something like that. So carbs can range between about 5% and 30. Fat is, is almost nil, 0 to 3%. So especially when you understand that once calorie needs are met at one particular meal, a couple hundred calories, almost all of the fat you consume won't be used as energy, it's going to be stored as energy. So it has an extremely low thermic effect. So when people ask, are you a carb guy, a fat guy, what, what do you prescribe as far as, as nutrition goes, if I have somebody who wants to lose weight, fat intake can always be pretty low because we have the fat inside our body we're using and we just don't need, it's just going to be stored as body fat. So those are the three macronutrients. And in the next vlog, we'll talk about how to time those.